Hi guys, Matthew Woodward here and welcome to my SEO Power Suite review. SEO Power Suite is a suite of SEO tools that I use on a daily basis. It's one of my core tools that gives me the edge over the competition and I use it for a huge range of tasks from website audits to link building. It's critical to my business and I would be lost without it. You can use SEO Power Suite to manage every aspect of your SEO campaigns. It includes four separate tools, which are Website Auditor, Rank Tracker, SEO Spyglass and Link Assistant. I'll cover each one separately throughout this video. You can use it for everything including completing detailed SEO audits and reviews, tracking all of your rankings in every search engine, finding and downloading yours or your competitors' backlinks, and discovering high quality link partners. And some of my readers will be happy to hear it's compatible with Windows, Mac and Linux, which is rare for any SEO tool. The Website Auditor tool is great for getting an overall picture of your site's on-site SEO. It will spider your entire site downloading relevant information along the way. Using that data, it will check for a range of on-site issues. You can use it to optimize your site structure and internal linking, and there are a huge range of detailed reports that you can brand as your own. But most importantly, it will help you to identify and fix on-site issues quickly and easily. The Rank Tracker tool is the most advanced rank tracking solution available today. You can check rankings for as many different URLs and keywords as you want, up to 1000 results deep. You can also monitor all of your competitors' rankings and compare your performance. It supports well over 300 different search engines from around the world. You can set up totally hands-free scheduling and updates. There are a huge range of detailed reports that you can brand up as your own. But most importantly, you own and control the data. If you use a web-based service, you could lose all your historical ranking data in the blink of an eye. Any former SE Scout customers will testify to how important owning your data is. SEO Spyglass is a very handy tool. Firstly, it allows you to find and download backlinks. It can grab these from a huge range of sources, including its own private database. You can use it to find your own or your competitors' backlinks. Then you can compare your backlink profile with your competitors to identify weaknesses and opportunities. It provides detailed analysis with a huge range of metrics and you can export a range of detailed brandable reports. Link Assistant can be used throughout your link building tasks. It is great for identifying potential link partners and prospects. Once you've identified them, you can use the mass mailing and management features to contact them all. You can keep track of all of your campaigns with ease. However, I use it slightly differently to automate my guest posting campaigns. Please see the separate how-to tutorial on my site for more details about that. So let's have a detailed look at Website Auditor and see how it all works and how we set up our first audit. So this is what Website Auditor looks like and to get started all you need to do is enter the URL you want to conduct an audit for here and enable the expert options, click next. Now here you can choose lots of different factors for it to check against your site. So I'm going to leave all the internal factors ticked external factors all I want to know is the page rank of my pages I don't really care about cache dates and down here you can check various options for the structure and coding of the website and I'm going to tick all of these then you just click on next and scan all pages with no depth limits and leave all of these settings at default and it will now go out and spider your website and check against all of those different factors and come back with a report. So while it does that, I'm just going to pause the video. Okay, that's now finished and it's found 174 URLs in total and took 10 minutes so we can click finish. And now it will say, do we want to go and update uh, the various other ranking factors that it can check? So we can click on yes here and again we have got lots of different uh, ranking factors some of them we've seen before some of them we haven't and you can also click on add more ranking factors here and you can include things like social media mentions and checks and we're going to include all of those 
uh, as well as tick some other options that weren't initially available on the first run of this site. Uh, so, uh, no. so we can click OK here and we can say well we got the internal factors before external factors we collected all of those before and we don't want the cash dates the social media stuff yeah that's pretty cool and the one um, structure factor that we didn't get before which was page size so now we can just click on next and it will go out and fetch all of those metrics for us automatically so I'm going to pause the video while that completes so website auditor has now finished updating all of that and if we click on finish we can now start having a look at all of this different information that it has returned now a lot of this doesn't make much sense and is uh, difficult to kind of review um, at first glance so I'm just going to take you through a few of the different ways that we can view this data you can see all of the different reports up here in this drop down so we can look at uh, all of our pages uh, by page rank uh, so we can look at all the PR2 pages on my site uh, along with some different information about each of them and we can have a look at pages with HTML validation errors uh, we can look at uh, popularity in social media and see how our pages perform there so uh, look at this page we've had a hundred Twitter mentions 66 mentions uh, on Facebook and uh, as you'll probably notice Google Plus is not um, been reported there and to pull that data in all we do is click on here to edit the report and we can choose to add some additional columns in here so let's find page Google plus ones move that over and we will have it display that after Twitter Facebook Google plus one and click OK OK again and there you can see the new column there reporting all of our uh, plus ones so that's uh, social sharing and things like that but where it really comes into its own is the reports it generates you can enter company branding if you're going to be selling these reports but I'm not going to and just wait for it to generate okay so very quickly we can get some statistics about the crawl uh, any issues that it's had uh, we've got one page of a missing title tag 38 pages of title tags too long uh, duplicate page titles and meta descriptions and uh, 63 pages with no meta description tag at all um, lots of HTML validation errors lots of CSS validation errors we can see how uh, Google PR is distributed across the pages there and uh, lots of statistics including broken link stats and things like that so that's a very um, kind of brief overview report you can actually come and get a much more detailed look at things which will break everything down for you even further and let's come down and have a look we've got all of the crawl stats again and we can look at pages with redirects and client server errors a list of those pages with the missing tag there it is pages where the title tags too long uh, we can see a lot of my forum topics there they're going to need addressing uh, pages with duplicate titles and you just get the general idea you can just kind of run through this report and go through uh, ticking it off uh, as you fix things uh, lots of HTML errors I'm certainly going to have to uh, take a look at that and what else have we got? I'm assuming I've got some broken links across my site. I've not actually done an audit on it for a long time. You'll be surprised what crops up in these audits if you've never done one or, or even not done one for a few months. Um, ah, it doesn't seem that I have any broken links. So uh, that is the website auditor. Again, all of these reports are completely customizable. Um, each one of them kind of uh, looks a bit different um, and there we go that's just a slightly different design with uh, a few 
bit more bits of information there but again these are all customizable you can include or exclude this information as you want uh, most linked to pages there most linked from pages no follow attribute status codes content analysis loads and loads and loads of different factors of your site analyzed throughout these different reports here so that is the website auditor and now let's move on to rank tracker and look at how you can set that up to track your rankings and all of your competitors so this is rank tracker and this is what you'll see the first time you start your software so you just want to enter the url of the site uh, you want to check the rankings for and click on next and it will go out and fetch your site initially then you can choose which search engine you want to check your rankings for and these are all categorized by country so you can go uh, for USA or Google or you may want Google, Yahoo and Bing for example um, but as I am in the UK trying to rank a UK website I will choose google.co.uk, Bing UK and yahoo.co.uk and then click on next you can then enter a list of keywords I'm just going to enter a very short list I've prepared uh, just to show you how the rank tracker works and click on next and this will now go out and check the rankings for my site against all of those keywords and as you can see it's uh, currently going through 10 pages of results which is the first 100 results but you can actually configure it to check the top 1000 if you want to and if we click finish here we can take a look at what it's found so for by SEO not in the top 100 in Yahoo or Bing but number one in Google UK and if we look down here you get a, a little graph but as this is the first check you, you know we're not going to see much historical data I will uh, show you a project with that a bit later on and here we can see I'm number one across the board for my name uh, my name with SEO and for tiered link building um, content machine review number one in Google number four in Google for just content machine and number one in Google UK for buy SEO so that is the basics of rank tracker uh, and you saw how quickly it was to set up and check the rankings for six keywords uh, you get lots of different views here that allow you to uh, monitor what's going on you can get a more detailed view here uh, as well as visibility differences and things like that um, you can see what's top 10 in any search engine uh, so I'm just going to load a historical project with lots of historical data to kind of show this off to you a bit more so let me just pause the video okay so here is one of my personal sites uh, I'm tracking the Google USA ranking for it as you can see from this rank graph it used to perform pretty well till it got slapped and I've just been working across the last few months to bring it back up and it is finally uh, as you can see lots and lots of number one spots here uh, number three uh, and you can see the trend here with the slap and the increase um, this one looked like it got away relatively unscathed uh, this one got the slap and the increase and you can see this kind of history um, for all of your keywords you can also have a look at the history records and look at all the different check dates and what rank it was uh, at each date that you checked it and you can also have a look uh, at the visibility graph to see how uh, visible it was in the search engines how that's changed over time and you can also connect your Google Analytics account and see how many visits that you got from the specific keyword um, and how that has changed over time so it gives you a really good overview of your rankings uh, as well as the traffic that that brings you can also get lots of different views like we can get a more detailed view here and just look at the, the differences or we can perhaps just say uh, I want to know about the keywords that are losing positions and just look at those and see what can be done to uh, reverse that or you can have a look at say what keywords have entered the results and we can see here one has entered the uh, top 1000 as I check it 
Uh, you can just look at what keywords have dropped from the top results and have a look at why that is. Um, so as you can see there's plenty for you to look at in terms of rank tracking here and what that can do. You can also export lots of different types of reports, uh, perfect for showing your boss or clients and there's loads of different reports that you can pick from here and you can completely customise them as well uh, as to what data each of them includes, there's various tags that you can use there as well as fully brand them up with your own company profile and logo so if you run an SEO company you can brand up the reports to give to your clients. There's lots of other settings such as proxy rotation, human emulation, the rank checking mode allows you to specify the number of results to check. Uh, there's loads of different options in here. Uh, if you wanted to, I haven't done in this example here, but you can also add in your competitors and their URLs and it will also track their rankings against yours. And then on the uh, ranking graphs down here, you will actually see how your competitors' rankings compare to yours directly. So this is Rank Tracker. Uh, hopefully you can see why I think it is the best rank tracking software, the uh, amount of features it's got is really advanced and more importantly you own all of this historical data, it's all local and saved to your computer so as long as you keep a backup of that you will never ever lose your historical ranking data. So let's move swiftly on to the detailed look at SEO Spyglass and how you can use it to find and download all of your backlinks. So this is what you'll see when you first launch SEO Spyglass. You can either enter a keyword that you want to rank for here and it will download all the backlinks of the people currently ranking or you can enter a specific URL which is what I'm going to do here. So if I just type my blog address into here, show expert options is ticked and click next. We can choose from various backlink sources and it will go out and check each of these for backlinks pointing to our URL. I'm going to just use all the USA ones and click Next. And you can also connect your Google Analytics account to see which backlinks are actually bringing you traffic. So I'm just going to pause the video while I do that. OK, I have done that and we can tell it to find an unlimited number of backlinks and to automatically exclude duplicates. Click on next and it will automatically go out and fetch all of those for us. And as you can see, very quickly it has returned 815 backlinks in just over 10 seconds. And I'm just going to cancel this task for the sake of showing you... Uh, oh, there we go, it's done. So 18 seconds to find 826 backlinks. We can click on finish and you can see a list of all the links here and now we just need to go out and fetch some additional data about them. So it prompts us to do that, click on yes and here you can see lots of different factors to uh, choose from. You can also add some more factors in here um, such as indexation popularity and social media popularity uh, and various other factors here. Um, so I'm just going to leave the default ones in play here. Uh, domain age, domain IP, domain page rank, Alexa rank, DMOS listing, Yahoo directory listing, uh, various page info and external factors. So we can click on next and that will go out and update all of those factors for us for our 826 backlinks. So I'm just going to pause the video while it does that. OK, so it's taken just under 9 minutes to get all the data for 826 links. If we click on Finish uh, straight away, we've got a list of our links here, uh, along with a title, whether it's uh, still linking or not, what anchor text is used, the anchor URL, the page PR, how many external links are on the backlink page, and the total links, including internal links and other factors such as link value, IP and domain page rank and things like that. Now all of these columns are sortable so we can uh, have a look up here and we will find uh, down here uh, I have got a PR5 link coming in here from the nextweb.com 
and I've also got a page rank 4 link coming here and we can actually sort this data as well and we can remove all of the links that no longer link back here and we've got lots of no's there, lots and lots of no's uh, highlight those and just press delete or do we yeah, remove backlinks here and that will delete those. So now we're just left, left with a list of our active backlinks and we can look at all different types of reports up here um, but most interestingly is the statistics and we can get a range of stats about all of our links uh, broken down into different tabs so let's take a look at some of those so we can see what domain extension our links are coming from 90, nearly 91% are coming from .coms the domain and the number of links and percentage um, of links coming from each domain so as you can see traffic planet there you're, you account for 44% of my entire link profile which is uh, pretty high domain page rank we can get a breakdown of the page rank of the domains that are linking to us so you can see mostly PR3 domains coming in here web page PR so the actual PR of the pages that are linking to you uh, mostly um, a hyphen, a few zeros, um, some ones, twos, threes, fours and a five and that's a pretty natural looking uh, profile there you can also look at what keywords are coming in as well as the anchor text and the uh, percentage across uh, all of your pages here and various other things such as the most commonly used anchor URL IP address, country, whether your backlinks have DMOS listings or not, Yahoo listings and whether they uh, link back to you. Uh, so that uh, is the general statistics let's take a look at some of the reports so um, you can customize your reports if and enter your own branding if you want to I don't want to and let's just have a look at the initial report it generates you can see um, various statuses about your backlinks and you know the age geography TLD text versus image do follow versus no follow the top 30 anchor URLs top 30 anchor texts and various um, other items here you've got all sorts of different reports built in that you can choose from uh, let's just have a look at this one while it builds that and ah, this is just a complete list of all your backlinks along with the details of them uh, SEO success blueprint let's have a look at that report and here we go so let's see what oh this is just a generic um, report with a bit of information about your backlinks in it but all of these reports are completely customizable you can uh, add and remove different sections as and when you want to and these are great for sending to your clients or to your boss um, just to uh, appease them with, with different statistics and it's also a great tool for looking at your competitors backlinks because you can see very quickly and easily exactly why they rank and not only that but the anchor text that they're using and have the ability to just visit the page and try and get a, the same link that they've got so overall SEO Spyglass is a great tool if you really wanted to you could um, come up here and add in other projects to compare against so if you had a project for your competitors you could actually compare your entire backlink profile against your competitors see where you're stronger and see where they're stronger and then and try and replicate their links where possible so that is SEO Spyglass and last but not least is Link Assistant for finding high quality links so this is Link Assistant and it's really good uh, finding places to get high quality links from. Uh, I also use it to automate guest posting but there's a separate tutorial available for that on my blog. So let's get started. Uh, let's just enter our website's URL here and click on next and that will go out and fetch some relevant information and the anchor text that we want to rank for a uh, brief description of our site, click next, contact name 
and email address and click finish and the first thing that we want to do is look up some potential link partners and to do that you click on search and you've got a few options here you can find sites by keyword search or sites with link submission forms etc so let's just do the keyword search one first make sure enable expert options is ticked click on next enter keywords I'm just gonna go with uh, SEO nice and easy Click next and these are the search engines it will use to find potential partners click next and you can tell it to acquire a certain number of partners uh, just for this example I've set that to 10 and click next you can use the interested partners filter so it will only return results where it already has resources directory partners links or recommended I'm going to click next here and I leave this at default and I always tick this and these are ranking factors and filters so you can actually just return um, sites that have you could say I only want to see sites that have a domain page rank of uh, more than PR2 and it will only return um, link partners with domains of PR2 or more uh, but I'm just going to untick all of the filters here and then it will go out search the search engines for you and go and process data for potential link partners so I'm just going to pause it while it does that okay that's finished and here are the results and you can pick which ones to uh, add to your partners list so I'm just going to tick a few here and click next and finish and right here you can see um, here are some potential partner domains a link to the resources page where you may be able to get a link as well as some uh, email addresses to contact them so let's just have a look at the other search methods uh, let's just take a look at find sites with link submission forms quickly and again we're going to go with SEO here you can type all of the different partner scripts that it is compatible with I'll just leave them all ticked click next uh, next here uh, we're going to find another potential 10 partners using the interested partners filter getting the complete URLs without any of these filters in play and that will go out and find those for us so let's just pause the video okay so we've got some more partners here I'm just gonna in fact we'll just tick them all and bring them all in click next and next and finish so here you can see we've got lots of potential partners and we can include some additional information here by editing the report um, such as we can find out the uh, domain page rank the Alexa rank um, possibly if we wanted to get traffic from our links as well so we can add Alexa rank in there click on OK OK again and to get that information we need to click on update update ranking factors and here we can see um, the different factors we can choose from you can also add more ranking factors in here uh, or social media metrics and that just to uh, review each domain thoroughly before you decide you want a backlink from it um, so I'm just going to get rid of that and include those click next and you can see that's going out very quickly and updating those for us and now we can support uh, sort by domain PR or Alexa rank so you've got a couple of options now you can either visit the various backlink pages that it's found and you can see here uh, some resource pages and link exchange pages that you can probably just visit and submit your link to otherwise you can send them all an email we can see it's automatically extracted emails here so we can highlight those right click click send email to selected partners now link assistant comes with some default templates here and this is a default template that you can see and you can add your own templates in um, and I recommend writing your own template here 
because this is generally used to propose a link exchange when really what you want to happen is them just link to you. So um, feel free to customize the emails that go out here to your heart's content and uh, start prospecting people for potential links. And you can then manage it all. Um, I've not actually done anything in here, but if you come up to the reports, again, they're brandable. You can um, get reports on your activities with your link building throughout this tool. Uh, it's just a really nice, easy way to find potential link partners, get in touch with them, and get links that your competitors cannot get. And it really is an invaluable tool, especially if you, you, you know, you're doing white hat linking and things like that. And I just wanted to quickly show you this project from my uh, guest post automation tutorial, which you can find on my blog. Here you can see how um, I have got a list of potential link partners, all that have write for us pages, so they accept guest posts. And then if I want to contact any of these and request a guest post, uh, let's say, okay, this week I'm going to try and get a guest post with these guys. I can just right click, send email to selected partners. Up here, I've got a special email that I wrote called guest post request. And that introduces me, who I am, and then offers them an article. And I can quickly just click on send up here and send that email out to all of these partners come up to the email tab here and any replies that I get um, I can manage them all through here and then uh, over here you can just update the statuses of of your um, attempts so as you can see up here guest post request sent I know I've sent them a request and not had a response these guys I've not yet contacted and if we just sort this status column and I've got a status here, look, guest post live, and the backlink page the guest post is live on. So Link Assistant has a huge amount of uses if you uh, think about it properly. I like using it for guest posting personally, as you can see, so be sure to check out the tutorial on my blog, which covers that in vast detail. So that pretty much wraps up my review. SEO Power Suite consists of Website Auditor, which you can use to conduct detailed SEO audits, Rank Tracker to track all of your rankings and your competitors' performance, SEO Spyglass to download and analyse all of your backlinks, and Link Assistant for finding potential link partners and prospects. Now I've been using SEO Power Suite for about three years now, and it's an essential suite of tools for any serious SEO. Don't forget, there is a 100% free trial for you to download and play with, and all of this is available for a one-time fixed fee. There's no monthly recurring charges for the full versions.